Experience farms in Minecraft are some of the best type of grinder because getting levels is the only good way that you get good enchantments on your armor. But a lot of times the best XP farms are very late game that use Endermen as their XP source. With this farm, you don't need to kill any mobs. It will store all of the XP for you in like an experience bank, and then you can withdraw that XP any time you want. Once again, this can be done in Really, it could be done in peaceful mode because there is no killing of mobs with this farm. This farm design was from Eagle Eye 621. I will put a link to his original video in the description below, so make sure you check out his video. And without further ado, let's build this thing. I'm gonna be building it in survival, uh, by the way. So let's build this thing. So here we are inside of Minecraft, and this is what we are going to be making. You can think of this as an XP farm. I've also heard it being described as an XP bank. But basically what is happening is we are creating bamboo and cactus incredibly fast. As you can see, the bamboo breaking off of here, that's super duper fast. And then every once in a while, there will also be a bit of cactus that is created as well. Both of those, using these super awesome farms right here, will be fed into furnaces and automatically smelted up. So the bamboo is being used as fuel and the cactus is being used as the thing that is being made that outputs a ton of green dye right here. And you can either keep that around or just throw it out. It's up to you. And then whenever you need experience, you can switch this lever. And what it will do is it will lock all of the hoppers on the bottom, allowing you to actually grab the green cactus dye out of the furnaces. With this turned off, the green dye will just disappear immediately. It looks like nothing is coming out. Uh, but you do need to be able to grab something out of a furnace in order to get all the experience that has been stored. And all of this is based off of the behavior that whenever you smelt up items, you sometimes get experience. Uh, depending on the item, you can get more or less experience. And uh, that is actually stored inside of the furnace until you take that item out of the furnace. And that is still stored even if a hopper pulls it out. You just need to pull out a single item and then all the experience that has been stored up inside of that furnace will be given to the player. So currently I have zero experience and I am in survival. And this hasn't been running for too very long. You can kind of see here how long it's been running for. This first one has been running for the longest. So I'm just gonna go ahead and pull the green die out of there. And look at that, nine levels. And obviously you would be running this for a long, long time, probably all the time. And then you would get all of the levels out that you need. And they're just stored there for whenever you need to walk over and grab them. This I'm gonna build in survival. So let's switch over to survival and do it together. So here we are inside of Minecraft. And because what we're about ready to build is so loud, I'm going to purposely build this up high in the air. And that'll also make sure that I'm not too worried about how like how deep into the ground it's gonna go or anything like that. Cause you do need to make sure that it is above ground, uh, especially where you start quite a ways. So I'm just gonna look for an area that's kind of free and right near this uh, tree thing is pretty free. So I'm just gonna build up until I can't hear the blocks, the scaffolding being placed anymore. And that means that nobody else will be able to hear this super loud machine up here. Okay, so I'm sort of building a temporary platform. I may move this down uh, in just a bit. But first, we are going to build the first half of our auto farm, that super fast farm. So we're gonna go ahead and place down a single block like this. Then we're gonna come out and place two down and that block in the middle, we can go ahead and break, that was a temporary block. And then I'm gonna place one up here and off to either side on both sides. So one there and one there. So here are the materials that you'll need to start building. I'm gonna be using these smooth stone as the block. These can just be really any solid block at all. Uh, you'll need at least four sand. You'll need four sticky pistons, 10 normal pistons, at least nine redstone dust, three levers, two observers, five furnaces, uh, six-ish glass, or you'll just need glass of some flavor. And this can also be, it doesn't have to be glass, it can also be a solid block. 
It just kind of looks a little bit better with glass, but I'll actually need to go grab some more glass. You'll need some amount of chests and at least 27 hoppers. You may need more depending on how big you want the, the overflow to be when it comes to uh, the hoppers. You'll also need four redstone torches. Then you'll also need some bamboo and some cactus. I have, I, there's a cactus farm right there, so I'm gonna go grab some cactus in just a moment. So we sort of have this shape that almost looks like a longhorn of, uh, of some flavor. You're gonna take one of the torches and another of the torches and put them on either side of that. Then you're gonna take some redstone and place it over there on either side. And one of your levers, you're gonna grab that and put it on the opposite side of this block. We may wanna turn that on, which will turn off the torches just so that things don't start firing like crazy. Now we're gonna take our sticky pistons. We're gonna put one facing this way, one facing that way. And now it is time to put down our sand. We're gonna put one right where we're standing and one on either side. It doesn't matter which side that you choose. Now it is time for the regular piston. You're gonna put uh, one on either side above the sticky piston. And then you're gonna have to come below and do the same thing. So you have pistons above and below, both firing toward the sticky piston. This is actually ready to start growing whatever the heck we want. So we can either start with bamboo or we can start with the cactus. With bamboo, make sure that it is not a baby. Make sure that it, it has grown at least once. And then you can go ahead and start this farm and it will fire like crazy. And if we just go ahead and break this, it will make another one very quickly, as you can see. I'm gonna go ahead and stop that. And the you do need to know that your bamboo needs to be lower, one block lower than whatever you're gonna be uh, furnacing up. So that will be our cactus. So we'll start to build our cactus area over here. So if that very first block that we placed was right here, we need to make sure that we leave an empty block, an empty block, and then up one block just like this for the next block. So we're gonna head up here and place this. This is our first block for the build right there. And just like the other one, we're gonna come out, but we are doing this as a mirror image of the first. So we are making, I, I feel like it's like a bull's head or something like that, but uh, we basically make sure that if our first one was pointed this way, the other one is pointed the other direction. These will look like this once you are finished. Now we do the exact same thing we did on the other side, which is to put down redstone on either side of that first block that you placed, redstone dust on the ones just behind it, a lever on the other side of your first block, a some pistons firing, which will fire above these redstone torches, and then your normal pistons, the first ones were sticky pistons, your normal pistons above and below, making sure to point towards those sticky pistons. Now we can place down our sand, one there, one there, and it'll start firing. So we're gonna jump to the other side of this and switch off that lever. There we go, so now it is quiet as we build. We can go ahead and place down our cactus and turn this on, see how long it takes. There we go, that's pretty fast. Uh, yeah, there we go. It's working just fine, even on a server. So now we need to set up our auto harvester of both the bamboo and the cactus. So what we need to do is get our observers, our pistons, and a little bit of uh, some solid block. So first we're gonna put the observer facing into the redstone. It can be on either side, so that doesn't matter. So we're just gonna face it into the redstone and make sure that little red dot is on the top. Then we're gonna take a solid block and place it on top of that. And then a piston, we're gonna stand on top of this cactus to make sure that it fires over the cactus. So this will be pushing the pre-made cactus off of that. And we're doing the exact same thing over here where we place down our solid block and then make sure that our piston is gonna fire into the bamboo. So now we are going to capture what those make. And to make it easy on us, I'm just gonna go ahead and put a buffer chest. This chest is just make sure that things, if items overflow, they go into this chest here instead of just uh, piling up in the hoppers, which don't have a ton of room. And I, of course, I hate how... <laughs> Scavaline axe. Uh, so now we're gonna take a few of our hoppers, uh, specifically two to be exact, and we're gonna put one 
and one into each of these chests. This one will capture the bamboo, bamboo. that one will capture the cactus. Now, it, we need to put glass around this to make sure that our items don't go flying every direction. And we're gonna do that. Uh, let me grab some temporary blocks so I don't have to break all my glass, even though I have silk touch. Uh, I guess I don't need to do that. But anyway, uh, we're gonna put one above and one to the side, and then another one over to the side. That'll make sure that it doesn't go flying off in this direction. And we're just gonna continue that for two, for two. So you got two blocks there. Same thing over here, two blocks, another block, another block, and then two blocks, just like so. And if uh, for some reason, so every once in a while, a, uh, a bamboo or a cactus may fall down this, if that just annoys you, you can place uh, some glass like down here and below it but uh, that doesn't tend to bother me, so uh, that's just fine. But we're just gonna make sure that those pistons will push it over into our hoppers right here. Now, we can go ahead and turn both of these on and get them started, but of course, that's a lot of piston noise. So we're gonna go into our music and sounds and turn block sound off, and that way we don't have to listen to those pistons firing all the time. So if you remember, our bamboo is going to be the fuel and the cactus is going to be what we are using that fuel to cook. So we need to now make our furnace array and how this will work is we'll have one line of, oh man, it looks like we're getting a little bit of lag here, but we'll have one line of furnaces uh, kind of headed this way and then another line uh, poking into the furnaces this direction. So we want to start by placing down our furnaces in a way that we like. So it looks like because of how I made these, I didn't really plan on this, but the furnaces will face this way. So this will be the front of the furnaces over here. So we're gonna go ahead and place them down. So we're placing these directly underneath the chest. So right there, so you can see that it's directly above the cactus chest and we're just going out for five. Five is really the limit that this farm can produce. So you only really need to make five at all. Now we're gonna take our hoppers and we're gonna put them facing into the backs of the furnaces. So just like that. And now I'm gonna put down a temporary block and point all of the hoppers into each other on this temporary block. That'll mean that they try to flow this way. If there happens to be a hopper below them, that hopper will take priority before it pushes to the next hopper. So this hopper will suck it out and put it into this furnace. And so you can already see there is bamboo uh, in that furnace and we're just gonna drop the rest of our bamboo in there and I'm gonna drop the rest of my cactus in there as well. Now for the cactus, we're gonna do the same thing. Basically, we're gonna put hoppers pointing into the top because that's where the cactus needs to go. We're gonna put down some temporary blocks here and then we're gonna point all of our hoppers into that so that they go down the line. And with this one right here, we should see our first furnace turn on, which is exactly what happens. Awesome. We are really close to this being finished. Uh, first, we need to add some hoppers into the bottom of this. And so I'm gonna go down and make my scaffolding go a little bit further on here. Okay, so these are my furnaces right here. This is the last one. I'm gonna place a temporary block there and we're gonna try to point all of our hoppers into that so that they will push down the line and we'll finish off with that one right there. And I don't suspect this to get too, too full. So I'm just gonna go ahead and break right there. And these were all my temporary blocks from before so that the hoppers would point correctly. And I'm just gonna take a chest and place it here and here. And that will just filter all of the green dye into this double chest. Finally, we need a way to stop the hoppers from pulling away the cactus, the green dye I should say, too fast because after it finishes, it's just gone. Oh, I can't grab it. So we're gonna use our redstone and our final lever, and we're just gonna place those in front of all of the furnaces, and then the lever just on the end. And that way, when we power it, it'll power the block underneath the redstone, which will actually end up powering the hopper over there, which means that once it's finished, it, the hopper below will not pull out the die. Currently, I am at three levels exactly, which is kind of interesting in survival, and we're just gonna pull this out, and I go up a level. So it hasn't really done a ton. We can see exactly how much cactus it's done. 16 cactus. So it, 16 cactus gave me a level. Uh, and the idea is that you would let this run for hours and hours, maybe even days before you come up here and try to snatch some uh, green dye out of there. And then that is when you would get lots and lots of levels. And this is like your level bank. I'm gonna finish up this build just by placing a few jack-o'-lanterns down as a nice light source for everything. 
and that means that nothing should spawn. Maybe I need to put a few extra up there. But this has just been running just fantastically. Uh, we're already at a stack of cactus. Uh, let me look back here. We got a full thing of bamboo in a whole bunch of these. Oh my gosh, yeah. In the first two. And then the cactus would show up in here. We have one bamboo in there. It looks good. Looks looks like this is running just fine. By the way, don't worry too much if you get a few pieces of bamboo up in here. As long as they're not taking up every single item slot, then this will run just fine. You may want to check every once in a while, but uh, because this will have cactus here, it's not going to try to force bamboo into that top slot so you don't have to worry about that oh by the way remember to turn off of your redstone that way the, the hopper underneath can uh, suck out this uh this stuff for you and you don't have a backup uh for that but that's it for uh this uh xp farm hope you enjoyed this farm once again big thanks to eagle eye 621 for the original farm design check the description for that video I hope that you enjoyed this. If you did, please give this video a big old thumbs up. Leave a like. That really helps out the channel. Also, make sure you subscribe for future videos, tips, tricks, tutorials, and spotlights here on OMG Craft. See you next time. Bye.